I'd like you to meet James, Linda, Matt, Will, and Mike. Oh, and that's me, I'm JP. We're on a pretty wild adventure, flying the planes we built across the Atlantic Ocean to America. Our aim is to travel 8,000 miles from Johannesburg, South Africa to Oshkosh, Wisconsin in under 10 days, all to attend the world's largest air show. This is day three. Morning. So move the seat right back, then and make sure your seat belt is tight, tight, tight. We arrived in Luanda yesterday. We were expecting to fly to Accra today, but we didn't get permission in time. And all of today, it's been kind of nail biting, waiting for the permit, and we just got permission. So we're on, airplanes are fueled, we're heading to Ghana, and we have the Cape Verde permit and the Ivory Coast permit. For the next two days, it's gonna be pretty intense. Today's a big deal. We have 1,400 miles ahead of us, which should take us about 10 hours, all of which will be over the Atlantic Ocean. Today's the first legit water crossing. We gotta wear life jackets, gotta get the life raft accessible, and we're gonna have to wear our immersion suits today. It's getting real. And I also need to find a way to make a little cargo net to keep everything back, just in case we do have to go in. I don't want anything coming forward. This is the most important. This has water in it and rescue stuff. No, JP. See, I like those carabiners. That's a good idea. Yeah, you need big ones though, so that the because the big ones you can get undone easily. Yeah. Is the little ones are fiddly, you know. Yeah. In an emergency, your hands are going like this. Yeah. We're looking okay. I don't think formation flights are a thing here, so filing a flight plan for three airplanes is confusing them a bit, so we're waiting for them to sort that out or figure it out, or we might just file for three different flight plans. But this happens a lot. This is round the world flying. This is a lot of sitting and waiting. Better hurry up and wait. Can H1015 start, 16 start up approved. 1015 start up approved. Zero to three. I feel really alive right now. Like everything's very real. Yeah, this does feel like a, Every, a weird trip. Yeah, everything's like a little heightened. Not perfectly comfortable either, you know? Like the, we're warm and sweaty and my suits are cumbersome. That's a long way. <laughs> that is a Fight. long way. This is it. I love this shit though. You're more nervous than I thought you'd be. I'm so worried about how I'm going to piss. Oh, is this a flat pad? Yeah, yeah. Oh. A, I'm ready when you are. Okay, Mark, you ready? We're good to go. I may or may not have to empty my pee bottle while we're taxiing. Yeah, yeah. Do you have to do yours? Yeah, I hadn't really thought about that. As we go a little further, I'm going to... Are you going to be mad if it gets on your plane? Yeah, very. I'm throwing you out. Zulu. Uniform, Seho, the Wix, Tax, Golden Point, Hanway, 2 3 Tax, Bravo. Tax, Golden Point, Hanway, 3, heading bug is set, 230, temperatures and pressures all on the green, you're secure? Yeah. Seat all the way back, doors are closed, lights are on, not rolling, JP's rolling. Great, I'll take off this time. 
Taxi in position at home. We're just going to stay low and build speed while we can. Okay, JP's up. Things are looking good. Well done, Steve. That's it. We're out over the ocean. We're not gonna see land again for the next 10 hours. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just crazy. People just don't do this. Okay, we're gonna go direct. Direct to activate nav mode. I wanna start the timer for this tank. Okay, 1500 and uh, entering the soup now. Here we go. Yep, oh, I'm man. on top, 5550. That is so. Cool. I think every day it sinks in that we're we're really doing this. Like sometimes I don't always feel completely know, present. Working, I think. No completely way. present. Yeah, because it is such an unusual feeling. But I think by the time that we get to Ghana and maybe Cape Verde, I will be fully in the moment. I think it's like. This will be a pivotal moment in my life, I think. It's, it's something special to, to realize a moment's going to change your life or an, an experience going to change your life while you're experiencing it. Often you only realize that retrospectively. Yeah. A level at 6.5, 10 knots on the tail. That is so beautiful. You know, there is an element, this is as close to religious experience as I get. We are over the ocean. We've got a tailwind, we're like, I'm so relieved. The sun is doing his job. It's beautiful. This is it. Time of our lives. JP, you guys are 30 seconds away from crossing the equator. Happy days! JP, this is the exact moment you're right over the equator right now. Oh. Uh, sucks to be you guys over on the southern hemisphere. <laughs> calling, you, calling you in the northern hemisphere, from the southern hemisphere. We've got a minute to run. <laughs> I missed it, we... Point three of a, of a minute north. This is just so cool.
you see what I see? The land? That is land. Holy shit. That is land. The last four hours have been very long. Hello, Charles. We're in the Port Sierra Tolisky and Company. We currently uh, five miles inbound, joining on the left downwind for runway 21 and awaiting for your traffic on final. Blue Uniform Sierra Hotel Whiskey Accra Good afternoon. Wind 210 degrees 17 knots. Temperature 27. QNH 1012. Join a report left downwind for runway 21. That's just so unbelievably sick. This definitely feels more vibrant, more green. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Zulu Uniform Sierra Hotel Whiskey, wind 210 degrees, 15 knots, QNH 1012, Clutch Land, runway 21. Well, we're in Ghana. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we're in Ghana. Look at that jet. After like nine hours in the air, it's really hard to get into landing mode. Yeah. And so they're never perfect after a long, a long flight. mission for fuel yeah. and then for the a spark plug spanner. Yeah. <laughs> so we negotiate to get in through that entrance. The plan is to try and not buy Afgas. We want to get Mogas in. Because Afgas is $8.50 a liter. $8.50. I mean, I have to work an extra year to pay for the filling up. <laughs> it's just insane. It's absolutely insane. For my aeroplane. Mike is such a determined man. So while Mike and Matt are sorting out the fuel situation, I'm going to head off to Zazu to do an oil change and sort out a stuck heater which uh, was causing me problems yesterday. Job. Yeah. You can't thing. escape it, you know. Can't escape it, which I don't mind, to be honest. It's been an incredibly long day. Fuel is still a problem, but we should, in theory, get it still today. So tomorrow we'll be off to Cape Verde. I'm gonna try and get some food in now, and then uh, to head back to the airport. It's really hard to overstate how frustrating today was. Even though we decided to end up buying the really expensive Afgas, it did not come easy. We had to get all sorts of ridiculous approvals and it's 9 p.m. and we're only getting fuel now. It's been, a, it's been a day. Even though it's been slow and frustrating, everybody's been so friendly. I really wish I had more time in Ghana because this place seems pretty freaking awesome. I can quite honestly say, JP, 
One of my longest days of flying in there. <laughs> yeah. One of the longest. So I'm having a quick look at the weather for tomorrow and uh, we have our work cut out for us. <laughs> 